Tom and Jerry is now streaming on HBO Max, and a lot of the reviews I've seen for this movie have been pretty negative. I don't think my review is going to be as negative as some of the stuff you might see on the internet, although I do have definitely some nitpicks and this movie definitely has some flaws. So I'm going to start by talking about the negatives of this movie first, some things I didn't enjoy, and then just to keep it positive at the end, I'll talk about the things that I did like. So the first thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way about Tom and Jerry was that the main protagonists of this movie are not very likable. Uh, Chloe Grace Moretz's character at the beginning of the movie, she does something pretty despicable. And then the rest of the movie, you know, she's like the main character. She's the one that we are supposed to want to succeed with whatever she's doing. But the way that she got into her position is so like immoral that it's hard to, to root for her throughout the movie. Also, uh, Michael Pena's character is kind of like going against her the whole movie. They, they're kind of butting heads, and it's just like they're trying to outdo one another to prove that each one is better than the other. And just that whole thing, like the, the main characters are not very likable. This movie is also very long. It's an hour and 41 minutes or something like that, which didn't it didn't need to be that long. There's definitely stuff they could have cut out. Another issue I had with this movie was I was questioning the... Uh, mechanics of how this world works. So um, Tom and Jerry are obviously animated characters in this movie, and Tom and Jerry don't talk. That's been that way in the shows, and they keep true to that. However, um, every single other animal in this movie is also animated, and some talk and some don't. There's a couple elephants we see that talk, there are these singing pigeons that are kind of annoying that talk, and then there's uh, another pet dog that talks but at the same time there is a cat that doesn't talk and Tom and Jerry don't talk and it's really weird because you have the humans in this movie who like acknowledge the anthropomorphic like aspects of Tom and Jerry like they communicate with each other but it's like do do all humans in this world know that all animals can like communicate somewhat like humans do they know they can talk or is it just Tom and Jerry are like these two weird animals that can communicate with humans like humans um, and all other animals are just animals so I was just really questioning like how the world works obviously I don't want to see another movie in this world but just the way my mind works I was like how how, how does that work in this world so um, just that that was unanswered and unclear was a negative for me in this movie this movie did have quite a few positives though for me I did like that um, they integrated the plot going on with the humans and the plot going on with Tom and Jerry. A really bad version of this movie would have been to have Tom and Jerry doing their own thing and then the human plot being totally separate and maybe the two plots like overlapping but they don't realize they're overlapping. Um, but Tom and Jerry's story in this movie is the same as the human story. So basically, uh, Jerry is living in this hotel and Chloe Grace Moritz's character is trying to run her wedding there and she doesn't want Jerry to be there. So she hires Tom to help her get rid of Jerry. So like, it's the same story. There's not two stories going on. It's all one, um, which a lot of times when you have stories or movies where you have animated or CG characters, um, and human characters, you tend to not care at all about the human characters because you just want to see what's going on with the animated characters. And for me, at least in this movie, I appreciated that they tied them all, like they made both stories the same to make us care equally about both Tom and Jerry and the human story. I also thought that they had the animated characters interact with the real world in a pretty seamless way. Like obviously there were some instances where you could tell that the objects that Tom and Jerry were interacting with were like you know, CG versions of that object, but I still thought it was fine. There was no obvious, like, poor quality of the animated characters interacting with the real world. It all kind of flowed seamlessly, so I like that about it. Yeah, so in the end, I thought this was an okay movie. Like, um, I, I didn't necessarily grow up with Tom and Jerry in its heyday, but when I was younger, on Saturday mornings, Cartoon Network would show Looney Tunes reruns and Tom and Jerry was on there. Um, and I felt that this movie stayed pretty true to the Tom and Jerry format. Um, does that format necessarily translate well into full-length movie? No. Does the fact that Tom and Jerry don't talk uh, translate well to a movie? N no, that doesn't help it at all. However, I still... I still pretty much enjoy, like, I enjoyed this movie. I, I had issues, but overall, uh, I enjoyed it. Will it be in my top 10 at the end of the year? I hope not, probably not. I hope I see 10 better movies in this this year, but um, for me, Tom and Jerry was totally fine. 
Okay, Tom and Jerry, have you seen it? If so, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to stay tuned for more.